morning. It is 6.15ish. I'm supposed to be at the hospital at 6.30 for my MRI guided biopsy. I don't know if you guys remember, a little while ago, I had my yearly breast MRI. There's an annoying little spot um, sort of near your lumpectomy that's just lighting up a little bit. It doesn't look like a mass, but it's just brighter than it was. It was too small at that time to do anything. They couldn't do like an ultrasound or a biopsy because it really wouldn't have made any sense. So they decided to schedule this appointment, which is another MRI, but it's scheduled as like an MRI guided biopsy so that they don't have to like MRI the entire breast. They can just MRI that one spot that they are concerned about. They're gonna scan it. If it ends up okay, like they don't see any changes and they don't think that they are gonna need to biopsy it and they're just like, this is fine, then they won't biopsy it. And that is the situation that I am hoping for today. But if they have the slightest suspicion, they're probably gonna biopsy it because they are very careful with me, which I am very thankful for, so I'm not complaining about that. But um, yeah, so it does make you worry a little bit, just because, you know, why wouldn't you worry? Classic scanxiety, am I right? I took forever to go to sleep last night, so I am exhausted. I was exhausted before I went to sleep, so I'm a mess right now. If they biopsy it, I'm assuming I won't have the results today, which kind of is a rough time for me. Today is Thursday, so if I don't get them tomorrow, then I'll probably have to wait the weekend or something, which would suck. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know. What I'm really hoping for is they don't biopsy at all. That would be ideal because that means that they just don't have any worry at all. So that'd be good. Um, yeah, if you are a little confused, there's there's a whole other video. Um, I think it's called They Found Something Suspicious on My Breast MRI because they found something suspicious on my breast MRI. It's early, guys. Gray has work, which is why he's not driving me and I didn't get someone else to drive me because I just kind of feel like doing this myself today. I also have an appointment after this at the cancer center to get a Zoldex shot because, you know, you gotta shut down those ovaries. Hashtag medical menopause life. I don't know why I keep saying hashtags. In the United States of America, we still wear masks when we go into hospitals, but pretty much nowhere else Pretty much everywhere else we don't have to um, if you're vaccinated. I'm curious about what the situation is in other countries. Are you guys still wearing masks? Did you stop wearing masks and now you started again? Let me know. Made it. I parked at the cancer center because that's where my second appointment's gonna be and I'm about to go in. I'm wearing my classic hospital outfit today. Nothing with metal in it except for my bra because almost definitely they're gonna ask me to take that off. update i feel horrible hold on let me start that over because there's actually been good news i did not have to get a biopsy done which is really awesome it was a little bit different than the regular breast mri instead of my boobs dangling completely the right one had a little like thing underneath it because they didn't need to mri the right one at all and the left one hung down and then they got this like thing that they like put against um, that like keeps it in place because they need to like keep everything perfectly in place if they're gonna do the biopsy because they like take the picture and then they like use like this grid system type thing to figure out where to like do the needle to like 
biopsy the correct spot. It's different than other biopsies I've done because usually I have an ultrasound guided biopsy and with those you can literally like have the ultrasound machine on. You can like see the needle in on the screen like as you're doing it, but with an MRI, you'd have to take the picture beforehand and then put the needle in. But anyway, he said that there was less uptake than last time, which is good. And he said that like, he really just thinks it's scar tissue. He thought that before, but obviously they were being like ridiculously careful because of my history with stage four breast cancer. Understandable, but anyway, I'm getting over some sickness from my Zometa last week, I was like really sick. And then I got like this stomach thing where I like couldn't eat anything. And it's just been a lot. And then I always, always feel bad after MRIs. I've been having trouble sleeping for like a week. And mostly it's been because of the Zometa and the hot flashes that are caused. I usually get worse hot flashes when I have Zometa for some reason. I don't know if that's a side effect of it. I haven't been eating well because my stomach's been having problems, so I haven't been sleeping. Worrying about this scan might have caused, you know, some anxiety for, or something. I feel very relieved. I, I don't feel like it's something they need to check. It's not like I'm like, oh man, I wish they still did the biopsy just so we'd know. I'm not worried about it. He said it's it's so close to the skin that it's probably in the skin, so it's probably scar tissue. And um, he said that maybe my breast surgeon might want to like do an extra ultrasound on it just to see it from a different angle. But to me, it seems like the regular scans that I get would be sufficient. Like I get an ultrasound every year and I get an MRI every year and they're like alternating every six months. And then I still get PET scans like every six months. So um, I'm honestly not worried about it at all. I think that if this is anything, it'll show up on one of those other scans and we don't need to keep making me do MRIs. Sorry that I'm like ridiculously tired and like not energetic. I am very happy despite being exhausted. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that good news and um, sorry that I can't tell you exactly how the MRI guided biopsy worked because I didn't get it completely. I can't add that to my list of tests that I've had done on myself, but I honestly really don't want to add that to my list of tests. It's not something that I really want to do at all. So. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't super enlightening or interesting, but uh, yeah, check out some other videos if you want more information on cancer and my journey with cancer and blah, blah, blah. Leave a comment down below what videos you want to see next. And yeah, that's all. Bye.